Good, happy Saturday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. Authorities investigate Alexandria House fire. Investigators say a fire at a home on Floor River Road in Alexandria is suspicious. Keen set to discuss proposed school budget. School administrators in Keene will start presenting their 2016-2017 budget proposal on Saturday. Christmas bird counts, including sightings of bald eagles. Bald eagles are on the increase in New Hampshire and on December 20th, the southwestern corner of the state found many of them recently during the Christmas bird count. Police DWI crash caused significant power outage in Dover. Dover police said a man was arrested Friday afternoon after he crashed, hitting an electric pole. A hundred plus National Guardsmen return home to New Year's Day. About 120 guard members of the New Hampshire Army National Guard are celebrating the New Year by returning home. Girlfriend to donate kidney to boyfriend. Girlfriend of four months is perfect match for boyfriend in need of a kidney transplant. Granite staters warned about thin ice conditions. Large lake fishing enthusiasts are greeting the new year with empty hooks as most of New Hampshire's big lakes have no solid ice cover and no fishing. Several babies born at New Hampshire hospitals New Year's Day. New Hampshire welcomed its newest residents on New Year's Day. Regular hunting, fishing license. Fees increase $10. Regular hunting and fishing license fees in New Hampshire have gone up $10. And the first increase in 12 years. Some big 2016 with hikes at New Hampshire State Parks. Some New Hampshire residents begin 2016 with some Exercise by taking one of four free guided hikes being offered in state parks as part of a national program. Canadians top Bruins at Winter Classic. The Montreal Forum was the Canadians' home for one of the most successful dynamics in professional sports. The Bruins and Celtics filled the Boston Garden rafters with championships banners. Woman seriously injured after car goes off road in Maltinboro. A woman was seriously injured in a crash on Route 25 by Red Hill Storage Friday at noon. Manchester Pier Support Center closes and aimed funding woes. A Pier Support Center for Mental Ill People in Manchester has closed its doors. Law lets first time drunk driving offenders get license back early. Residents convicted of drunk driving for the first time have 
the opportunity to get their license restored early under a new state law that takes effect Friday. New Year starts with wild turkey sightings for annual survey. It's time to ring in the new year by reporting all those wild turkey sightings in your backyard. Saudi Arabia executes dismantled Shalouk cleric. Saudi Arabia said Saturday it has executed 47 people in a single day, including a dismantled Sherat clear near Alamar near who had reportedly spoke out against the government and the Sadu royal family. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday. Goodbye, everyone. See you later.